I make sure that I start my day with God. I've always been an early riser. Sometimes I wake up a bit later, depending on what I'm doing the night before. So in the video I'm reading from the UCB Word for today, I really love this daily devotional. I actually get a subscription, so they send me this magazine every three months and it really sets me up for the day, I love it. So then I go and eat my daily bread. So the Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone. So the Bible is actually our spiritual food as Christians, so I always make sure that I get my daily bread. And normally I just pick up on the book that I've left off at. Then around seven o'clock, I go and make my bed, undraw the curtains. Then I have my worship time. So normally I worship on the floor like this. Normally I just have a black coffee. And I usually have porridge oats for my breakfast with water. Sometimes I have it plain, sometimes I have a bit of fruit in it. The reason I don't buy any milk and sugar and things like that is because I just like to keep things really simple. breakfast time. So first I normally neck a bottle of water and I'm going to try and drink two litres of water per day. I always say grace before I eat and ask God to sanctify the food. So after that, I get on with my ministry activities. So I always pray as well before I start doing anything, just so that the Holy Spirit's involved. Um, at the minute, I've got a website that I've been working on and a book and some other things. I try to write 2,000 words per day in the morning. So then I go and do my self-care routine. Wash my face and then put some cream on my face. So then I just brush my hair. Then I put my laundry on. And then I do my workout routine. So first I do um, like back exercises with this band. I've actually got mild scoliosis and a, sh a shoulder problems, chronic bursitis. So that's why I'm kind of stretching my shoulder like that um, and doing physio. And then I do some squats and push-ups and leg raises.
and then I do it again. I normally repeat the cycle three times and I normally do 20 each. Um, so it's like 20 per leg or 20 squats and then I times that by three. I just invented this little workout for my um, body kind of issues. And then I sometimes go for a run after. Um, yeah, and then I check on the wash, then I have a shower. And then I get dressed for the day. I try to dress modestly and feminine. Before I got saved, I used to dress a bit like a tomboy. I try to bring glory to God and not myself. But I don't wear makeup or change my hair. So I used to always dye my hair and wear a ton of makeup and I don't do that anymore. I don't want to draw attention to myself and cause men to lust or put confidence in my flesh. Ready for church. See ya. Then I do my household chores. Sometimes I get back a bit later depending on who I've seen out and things like that. Sometimes I evangelise for a bit in town after church or one of my friends might invite me for dinner or something so if not I just come straight home. I love doing my laundry. I've always really enjoyed cleaning toilets and doing laundry. I find it very satisfying. I actually transformed this old shabby desk by sticking some marble on top of it. So then at 2 p.m. Uh, I get organized. I plan everything I need to do for the week so that I can stay focused. I've got a to-do list, a diary, and a to-buy list, and a to-do list within a to-do list within a to-do list. So it's getting a bit hectic sometimes. Then I start with my Bible study. I normally start things with a prayer. Two Timothy two fifteen, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So I really love this Bible. I love my KJV, but I'm not a KJV onlyist. So then I continue with my household chores. I've always got some laundry to fold. Those little dishcloths, they never go back square. If anyone can figure that out. I don't normally iron things unless they really need ironing. So then I normally do a bit of reading. I really like to read Christian books and also testimonies. Then I sit back down at my desk. I print out these sheets and I keep them in that little folder. 
and I normally just do this once a month. So I just fill out the sheet and then I actually budget my money so that I don't overspend. I've always been really bad with money. So after that, I actually do some cooking. On a Sunday, I do a little bit more cooking. So I normally try out just different recipes. I often have a lot of accidents as well because I have not been cooking for very long. Oh. I've also got a recipe folder which I sometimes look at. I did a cooking course and they sent me some recipes so I sometimes use those. I am a little bit lazy in the kitchen. I sometimes prep the veg earlier to make it easier. Dinner time. So then after lunch I sometimes have a jam, um, just a bit of improvisation. I've actually been getting back into guitar recently. I gave it up when I got born again because it was a bit of an idol but one of my friends from YouTube, um, one of my YouTube followers actually gave me this guitar and this amp and the camera that I'm making this video on so I decided to get back into it.
So 8 p.m. and I'm gonna have a bubble bath. I like to put a lot of bubbles in there. And candles. And yeah, I just listen to this audio Bible and I also use it as a time to pray. I've always wanted my own bath. I've actually never had my own bath until I got born again and then God blessed me with a bath. And so I was always having showers. <laughs> so I just really love having a bath. So then after that, I normally get in bed with my Bible. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. I normally go straight to the Psalms or the Proverbs um, so that I don't open up any new cans of worms late at night and then stay up all night researching into different doctrines, which is what I used to end up doing. So I don't want to be falling down any new rabbit holes when it's time for bed, you know. So I normally just meditate on the Psalms and things like that. Follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And then I ask the Lord to search my heart and confess anything that he brings to mind. So usually the Holy Spirit will bring things to my mind, things that I need to confess and repent of. I'm not talking about presumptuous or willful sin. Following after the flesh is foolish and leads to death. We are crucified with Christ. Sin shall not have dominion over us. Confessing the same sin over and over again is not true repentance. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And I also thank God for all of the blessings throughout the day that um, he's given me and all of the things, all of the wonderful things that he's been doing in my life. And then I also intercede for my family and friends and just ask the Lord to soften their hearts and send laborers in their paths and things like that. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you've been blessed by this video. I hope you will be inspired to kind of incorporate some of these spiritual practices into your schedule, like prayer, Bible study, Bible meditation, worship and fasting, and just like exercise and things like that, because it's important to stay healthy and look after your body because it's a temple of the Holy Spirit. I also just wanted to say that I do get my bad days, like I get spiritual warfare sometimes and so I don't always get as much done.